Ghouls, fear ghouls, and some ghouls in the spacesuit. That looks ridiculous. Okay, what do we need to do yes. to get rid of the ghouls? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So, the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Jason for president. Okay, what do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Okay, why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're a human. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. You left your vault because you were going bald. Being bald is awesome. Uh, the problem with going bald is that <clears throat> some people try to. You have to go bald. You can't have uh, this in between thing. That that just looks stupid. Uh, or worst of all, try to cover that you have. Don't have here there. Just shave it all off. Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster. Yeah, uh, we can't convince him in my face. I, I want to see what happens though. You wouldn't trust a ghoul, would you? I see your ploy, smooth skin. I won't fall for your trap. You can plainly see that I'm a ghoul myself. You can't turn me against my flock. Fair enough. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Uh... Where would I track down the thrust control modules? All right. Anything else? Mm, can you give me tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Industrial ruins to the east.
scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. All right. What would you rather be doing? Well, there ha just happens to be a junk dealer next to Novak. What about the igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Any tips? I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Okay, enough. Later. Later. Space. Uh, I'd consider it, but uh, might as well take a peek at how it looks. It's, an, it's a light armor. Radiation resistant. Yeah. Mm, this isn't happening. How can I move with that now? Space suit helmet. It has no weight and it has a lot of value, so I'm taking it. Hmm. Uh, I'm interested in securing the spacesuit, not using it. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Reach our motel room before the strength boost disappears. I also test fired the grenades after shutting down the game and it works just fine. Atomic fuel somewhere there. Might as well visit the nighttime sniper too. Tons of atomic cocktails. Ooh, 4,600 ball caps. That is great. Uh, we're not gonna do much with the machete anymore. Mm, we have to keep most of this stuff. We have to trade, trade it away. Uh, I'll dump ammunition though. That should give us enough. Way, free way to move around to do what we need to do. Mm. Yeah, seven missiles weigh ten point five pounds. Missile launcher better be a goddamn awesome game, weapon in this game, otherwise we're not going to be using it all that much. The ammunition simply weighs too much. Do I have the rolling thing? I'm sure it's a fairly amusing weapon, but... Where the hell am I going to be able to use it? Nowhere. Mm, that should be good enough. We are in uh, heavy need of water and nutrition though. Ah, our water needs being kept in check. At least a little bit by an item we've got. Uh, I need to get rid of that item. Because it's not a, it's not part of the 
vanilla game. It's added by one of their item DLCs. I think it's something like a bolt... something, something. It's basically a water can canister. Yeah, Vault 13 Canteen. I think we can... it can store a little bit of water and you can get a free sip out of it. I think it reduces our water need by something like 30. So I think it mm, slows down the progress of your need to drink water. And so that's sort of a The entire point of adding them was to have have such a need to drink water and be thirsty now and then. So it doesn't make much sense to use an item that basically makes that unnecessary. So losing eight rats per second using a rat away. So it's still a fairly powerful item to get rid of the radiation. Okay, let's meet to be one. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I expecting visitors. Yeah, I guess maybe I am, but not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Who are you looking for? Come on, you can tell me. Drop it. Now why the hell are you here? <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm meeting new people. I think you better leave. I'm just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Mm, why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track, to track her down. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Uh, how do you know she's dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. So, what do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Hmm, that seems interesting. Okay. I'll help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. But Yeah. Mm. Now we need to try to get the radioactive fuel. <sighs> There's a few ways I think you can gain it. But since mm, the guy helping the ghouls 
Oh, did I ask this way? We're gonna go this way. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever done this mission like this. I'm interested in seeing what this leads to. I'm a little bit concerned about our safety. We are not in a good position to go there. Ah, oh, shit. The anti-radiation suit would have been helpful here, here wouldn't it? Well, it's like 100, 200 yards that way, so it's too late to turn back now. What is that? Is that a dead scorpion? No, it's a radiation suit. Isotope 239 Ignition Agent Mr. Radicals Journal ah. Thanks for the donation Well that was easy Day 1 Love the suit Can scavenge anywhere now Screw the rat I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical Get it? Yeah, it's a shame I didn't get to shoot this bastard myself. Okay, day four. Suit pass first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel. Rat level high even where I was and I didn't feel a tickle. Go rat suit go. Okay, day five. Omitted all morning. Didn't splash on suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Day 9. Exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading for Clark Field to prove suit at higher rat levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goo open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, we apparently didn't need to go there, and I'm glad we didn't. You know, it's uh, it is full of radiation. I was expect expecting the marker to lead us inside the site, though. There's a suitcase there, and golden geckos. And I've been spotted. These are not the geckos we've met so far. Not even close. I do want to get that suit though. So, a uh, suitcase. What could it hold? It's empty. Clock field. And there's a reason the golden geckos are like it here. It, it's highly radioactive, toxic. I, I do want to take a look now that we're here as well. Let's go. Mm, I can't like climb there. A lot of them. And I don't see anything really interesting here. Now uh, there might be something. Uh, 
Ah, uh, with dynamite. It looks like a uh, looks like a bot back for I mean, Might be very lucrative for us to get there. There are a few trucks here too. Yeah, this was a dangerous place to come to. Golden Gecko hide on the other hand is fairly valuable. Uh, might as well take it. I think if you have enough survival skill, you can make some kind of uh, armor out of it. I mean, in combining it with normal, combining it with a uh, normal uh, armor. Anything else? Okay, they missed one mine. Overall, a huge success. Mm, except that we haven't actually found anything worthwhile here yet. So it's a used way waste of resources at this point. And we're all almost out of ammunition. And what else? We'll find out what else. This is a back rock. <laughs> and yes, crap. Let's try to pick up the pace a little bit. I don't want to be in this area for too long. Uh, those trucks are our only hope of finding something worthwhile here. So, this is our last hope. Anything, anything good? Anything at all? We wore money, that's totally worth it. There's a value of at least 10. Crap on a cracker. Well, now we know. There was never any reason to come here. Sometimes a huge radioactive junk pile is exactly as it sounds like. Deadly and you have no business going there. We did. Nah. We didn't spend uh, at, uh, all our minds. We sort of forgot that most of the uh, most of them were here. Yeah. We got a radiation suit out of it. It's not all that 
Okay, probably we didn't get a radiation suit out of it. Uh, I seem to recall the spacesuit having a higher radiation resistance, so why the hell would I use a radiation suit then? I'm not going back to Ripcon, not now. Um, quick travel to Novak and then going north to visit the scrapyard. We need the, some part missing from the rockets anyway. Ooh, a traitor. Hey there, need anything? Yes. Sure, here's what I've got. A lot of money. Interesting things. 25mm grenade plasma. We have our grenade launcher uses 40mm, so there's another pulse time. Okay, we have. Maybe a couple of pulse grenades might be good. Because if we encounter robots, I don't think that. Normal ones will be all that useful. And the venom, always good. Salt carbine, force, forged receiver. Gun condition increase. Bitter drink, a healing item with no weight. Chainsaw carbide teeth, increases damage. Katana, authentic blade. Emission freeze. Laser piston. Mini nuke. Da timed. Mini nuke. Tiny dots. Gun spread times 20. Oh. Hive missile. Gun spread times 20. Power fist. High cap valves. Increase damage. Ripper HD chain. Increases repair condition. Silent point twenty two SMG. It's not all that powerful. The individual damage on the bullets is pathetic, but the overall damage is okay. So it will will use up our, our ammunition quite quite fast. Try beam laser right. Familiar. Major shotgun, basically seven thousand. Uh, quite expensive. Let's see. Let's dump every crap item we have. We shouldn't have too much to sell, though. Maybe a few weapons here and there. Hunting rifle, laser rifle. We had more than I remembered. Plasma rifles. Yeah. I'm not selling the radiation suit, it's not really worth it. And that's it. 1000 extra caps, please. Do you have 9mm ammunition? Yeah, 9. That's, that's wonderful. Will make a huge difference. Uh, I think I'll buy a couple of pulse grenades. Oh, for our grenade throw, grenade rifle. Uh, 15 caliber explosive ammunition. Jesus Christ! 25 shots <laughs> weighs 6.25 pounds. I I wouldn't want to use a machine gun using this type of ammunition. I'm 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 certain it'll turn enemies to pulp very quickly, but it, it, this has to be some kind of a rifle-based weapon. Otherwise, you can never afford the ammunition to this. You can't afford to carry it. I'll take the money. Okay, I'm sure we have now enough money to get to Vegas, and probably even. Get an implant or two, not with the 5,000, but with additional things I can do. So that's quite good. It's not amazingly good or anything, we can't even afford most of the weapons yet, but 
we're not going to be suffering from a shortage of caps, that's what I'm saying. We're doing fine. A Gibson Scrapyard. You're not Gibson, you're Bazura. Where's your owner? She doesn't appear to have anything really special here. Hi there! I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Uh, you have any thrust control module from the Repcon in stock? Um, I don't want to ask that from the start because it's a very specific thing to ask for. And so if I ask it specifically, she she's immediately immediately on to us that we are in need of that specific thing and she can ask a higher price for it. So I want to do a normal trade, see if we can get the modules that way. Happy to do it. I'm guessing no, but... Brahmin skull. Okay. Dark bow. Laser rifle focus up to Ophthalmoscope Spork Yeah, she has nothing, absolutely nothing, so we do have to ask for it Pleasure doing business with you Okay, do you have the thrust control modules? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. How about a discount? I'm a nice person. Oh, you're charming in your own way, I suppose. Not budging on the price for those parts, though. You should cut down the price. It's not like anyone will probably buy them. Oh, I don't know about that. Lots of folks travel by on their way to New Vegas. Okay, I want to test one thing. Oh, you're charming in your own way. Oh. Game seems to track these failures. Oh. I want to see if it tracks... If it counts repeat failures. I, I hope not. Uh, I, I don't think it does, but that's good. It was, I think, 10 failures out of 100, so we have a lot of failing to do. Okay, 500 caps. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Outside of murdering her, I don't see what else we could have done. Or waiting to raise our speech skill. And, mm, yeah. Not worth it. Okay, I, I want to do one thing now. I want to s get the goddamn robot fixed. I've been saving parts for it, but um, I always forgot. Uh, so let's get it up. Let's get it, get it over with. Uh, damage robot. Yeah, fix it. Pair with parts. It looks as though the damage servos and gyroscopes could be replaced. So three scrap metal, two center module, scrap electronics. I don't. Do we have scrap electronics? 
No, we don't. Don't have scrap. Why don't we have scrap electronics? Crap, crap, crap. Hang on. Uh, the quick travel option is uh, problematic for us because we do get more thirsty and hungry when we use it. So I want to see if Nash is selling selling those parts. Uh, I'll buy it off him if he is. Where is she? Where is he? There he is. Hey, youngster. Yeah, show me what you got. Mm. Um, scrap electronics. Do you have it? Mm, no. You think you have what it takes? I don't want to play this. Uh, I don't recall any nearby place that would have it. Have it. Uh, the prospectors then probably does. Side tracking, although I not want to do that. Uh, I want to get things over fast. At least to this stage. Uh, yeah, it'll cost us a little bit in extra food and drink and rest and god knows what. This is the fastest way to do it in real time. Hello friend, repair with parts. Companion protocol begin. EDE has given or Eddie has given you the enhanced sensor sensors per Ah. Okay, he's up. Uh, he functions as a workbench too. It's fine, we need nothing anyway. Uh, I want to see oh, wait 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 wait. No, we can get the hell out of here now. We'll do we'll replenish our needs uh, at the rip contest site. We have our first companion. I'm sure we who will live for a long, long, long time. And is in no way of suffering an immediate immediate gruesome death. We definitely need more water. Use some food stops, especially fresh, freshly grown stuff, also reduce your thirst. So you don't you don't necessarily need water. You could have a lot of fresh things to eat that could also reduce it. A lot of radiation, almost two hundred. Uh, right away. Yes. Have you found the components we discussed? Uh, I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. 
Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Yep, I found them. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Okay, the rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Finally, we can get rid of them. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Hey. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hello. Evening. 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 Hello. Evening. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just... using me. Okay, you're pathetic. No wonder they're leaving you behind. They take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage. Hmm. Stop complaining. You're pathetic. No wonder they're leaving you behind. Uh, I don't really like either of my options. I would prefer to have a more of a neutral one. But I, I, I don't want to argue with Chris about this. Uh, I, I don't care how he feels about that. Yeah, so quit your whining. Pathetic. Leave me alone. Everyone else does. To cry. You're gonna cry about it? Jesus Christ, you're a grown man. <sighs> okay, let's go to the launch pad. Let's finish this. What the hell is this? Huh. It was nothing. So where exactly are we supposed to go? Um, I, I, I think I know. It's... There was a locked door in the... Where we initially found the ghouls. I think the building that had the fuel ghouls is now cleared up, so we don't have to worry about getting attacked here. Just move at this speed towards the area. We need to launch those guys into wherever they're going. And care. Just go and leave this place further. I do want to see the rockets fly though. In a great big ball of fire. 
<laughs> it's not like I have a likely have another chance in life to see such an awesome event. Mm, launch button navigation console. The console seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of how it works. Science 55 required, so... What's science our science? Uh, it's terrible. Why is our science so terrible? Can we do anything about our terrible, terrible science? Mm. I, I don't think we can do all that much. Ah, that's a shame, that's a shame. We can ra raise it with the magazine, but it, it still won't amount to much. Uh, I don't think even with main task we could buff it. it. Yeah, it would be something like 54. That's one point below what we need. Although, we only need 134 points to get our next level up. <sighs> ah, shit. We actually delay this. I'd like to see my options. I'll, I'll try to use the main tats and um, magazine to see where we can go. I think it's 54. Yeah, it's 54, so it's not good enough. Shit. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. Yeah. Mm, Ready? Change plans. Uh, is that outside? Hopefully we can get the hell out of here. I'm hoping I can get experience from other way now. I'm not leaving the rocket situation with that. What time is it? It's evening. Boom is going to the sniper bench. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Watch out. There really isn't all that many places we haven't looked. We just haven't talked to a lot of people. You have any luck with the ghouls? Hmm. Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. 
She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Did you have anything to do with the, her disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Yeah, see ya. Uh, I, I don't see many being the one. It, it's not in his character to act like that. No, if he had done it, it would show in his way he's talking about, but he's very relaxed. Pretty much talks about it like everything else. It, it's not him. There aren't all that many people in this town though, I'm like half a dozen. I don't see these Mac Prides being involved, so... What brings you here? Boone's wife. Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Nice. Yeah, I don't see them being involved, not at all. So it's either doctor or the shopkeeper or the genie maid. What can I do for you? Can't even ask about the boo's wife. Bye. So she's a shopkeeper. Our suspects are pretty much non-existent at this point. No, no bark. She's certainly, he's certainly crazy enough to do something, but not selling them, not selling her to the. They got spies all over. Okay. You've seen them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boone's wife. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. I'd like to say, it has anyone been acting strangely, but uh, I think we got. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Yeah. It's fairly likely, Genie may. We can't really rely on his his word, though. But if one of the men sent here to capture capture her, visited the lobby, there really are aren't that many options. Right? She is the one always here. She certainly likes this town. Probably didn't want to get rid of Boone, didn't want to listen to her bitching about the town all the time. And Bill of Sale. We, the representatives of the Consul of the CEO Room, have this day bargained and purchased from Ginny May Crawford of the Township of Novak exclusive rights to ownership and sale of slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy and slave for life. We, co co we covenant with the said Jenny May Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring 
payment of an additional 500 bulk caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Hey there. Hey. Want to go for a stroll? I hope you're finding everything to your liking. I am. Come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. She has no hair, so she's not going to need her glasses. I'm hoping this will be enough to give us a little bit of a level up we need. That way we can also wrap up the Rapco rocket facility, or Redcon rocket facility in this case. How you doing? Just fine, Clave. Just fine. That's it then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Mm, wanna wander together? You don't wanna do that. Mm, I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I, I know this isn't going <laughs> well. At least I, I'm happy to, that Boo knows what he's getting into. Mm, uh, we really got to use more signs. Okay, and another perk. We should get a lot of new ones this time. Bloody mess, we can ignore that. Demolition expert. Explosive weapons do additional 20% damage. Um, we can't really ignore that. Fortune finder. Um, more bubble caps, don't care. Gunslinger. Increased accuracy using pistols in the turn based mode, don't care. You take 50% less radiation when consuming irradiated food or drink. That's nice, but not that important. Mad Bomber. Your intimate knowledge of gadgets and explosives have combined to make you the Mad Bomber. At workbenches, you have special explosives recipes unlocked for use. Ah, shit. And top this. Uh, oh, Mad Bomber. It Demolition expert is fine, but I'd rather take extra, extra explosives than extra damage, at least at this point. So, mad bomber it is. Um, we have three man group now. Yep. Holy crap. Holy crap. We have like a, the best team ever. With this kind of team, nothing will stand in our way. It's a sniper. 
Uh, and what the hell did we get from Bruon? Get curve. Enhanced sensors. We can detect enemies from farther, be farther from a longer range. Spotter. While Boon is come a companion, hostile targets are highlighted whenever the player is actively aiming. So I'm guessing using the iron sights. Maybe this time mm, this won't end horribly. Although we need to get Boon some kind of an armor. A t-shirt is not going to stop all that many bullets. And as fun, it, fun and amusing as it is to see my buddies get ripped apart, uh, I'd like to at least make it a fight. I don't want to sell my their skin too cheaply. Uh, no, this is the east side. So where's the Okay, here. Oh, let's wrap this up. We have our sensor robot, a sniper, and an explosives expert. Surely a dream team. Hmm. So, let the show begin.